If you haven't already, please check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash ecmopod. For $2 a month, you get an extra episode every week. For $5 a month, you get Discord access. And for $20 a month, you become a Harito, which is the producer of the podcast, and you get a shout out just like this. Uh, Nat Milo, Abraham Romano, Alex Knotts, Amanda Oliveira, Amanda Panetto, Angie Mora, Carlos, Chris Lozano, Christian Alvarado, Craftiest Chavez, David Serato, Eddie Bravo, Gabby Ferris, Hector Cruz, Imperium Sloth, Isai Facio, Izzy Sandoval, Jared Dean, Kareem, Laisha Ashley, Daria, Michael Zuniga, My Little Jabroni, Nia Town, O Sandia, Pedro, Phil Accio, Rafael Flores, Riley Timberman, Rosa Alarcon, Rosie Flores, Rowan Está Muerto, Susana Guzman, Susana Priego, Terrence Saloy. Uh, thank you very much to our Haritos. Today's episode's a conversation with a good friend of mine, Joel Romero, an ex Jehovah's Witness, but now a videographer and photographer in the Southern California area. He's on Instagram at Joel Brandano. I'll put that in the description below. But for now, enjoy the show. We have Harito. Yeah, Harito good guy. in the house, dude. Good guy. <laughs> He's, he's my bodyguard now. <laughs> I don't have a bodyguard, though. <laughs> How come I don't get a bodyguard? <laughs> Arito will watch your back. Dog. He's not even watching. Looking at me. <laughs> he's looking at the door. Arito. <laughs> Are you awake, dog? Easy, mo. Okay, we're here talking to Joel uh, Romero. Do you, you wanted to be called Joel Brandano at one time, right? Yes, because of because it's stupid. It's but stupid. Brandano's not a real name. I know, but, but my I was taking acting classes in college, and oh. she said, listen, you need a stage name. Yeah. Which I don't know why she felt like I needed this, but I was like, okay, cool. So I went on YouTube and I looked up cool as hell in last names. Yeah. And then one was Brandano. And I was like, that's pretty cool. That was on YouTube? No, that was on. You just look up. I just looked up on Google. Cool oh, Italian Google. Uh, uh, last cool name. Cool Italian last name. <laughs> <laughs> it said Brandano. And I was like, that's pretty cool. And then I put that as my Instagram name. And then people think that's my real name now. Well, how old were you? Uh, 2013. So I was like 20, 19, 20. Damn. That was a long time ago. You're Mexican, right? Yes. Mexican. So you didn't Sinaloa. want to make- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sinaloa boy. Yes. You didn't want a Mexican net last name? It looks out it kind of sounds like I didn't want to be Mexican because huh? Romero is Romero's Cuban and oh. Mexican. But I feel bad now. So sometimes people are like, hey, what should I uh, credit you as? Or just like in the credits, like if I'm doing like working on like a like a music video or something. Yeah. Uh, they sometimes they just put me Brad Joe, they put Joe Brandano. I feel like I look stupid because at some point I'm like I don't know. I feel like I have to go by a Mexican. My my last name. I don't know why. Before I was like, I'll just do a stage name. I'm not even a fucking actor or anything. Why do I need a stage name? I'm yeah. a photographer. Why You're a I'm, photographer and videographer. Videographer. They don't have stage names. Yeah. So I just got to go back to Joel Romero. I got to fucking fix I got to say, Joel Romero is the most Cuban name. There's a Cuban fighter in the UFC named Joel Romero. Romero. Yeah. Joel Romero. <laughs> He's like 45. Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe Rogan. <laughs> he's fucking amazing, dude. Yeah. I love him. I wish I had his body. He's thick, dude. He's thick and he's like 50. But we're not here to talk about that, dude. We're no, here no, because, no. you know, you're a reformed Christian kind of guy, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I left I left the life of, uh, I left a good life. I mean, a bad life behind. <laughs> a life with Jehovah. Yeah. For 20 years, I was there locked into that cage. Jehovah, I don't even know her, dude. Oh, she's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jehovah Witness, man. For I was born into it. Yeah, my whole life I was a Jehovah Witness, and, I, and people, I was a, I was very deep in there. I used to go preaching, door to door knocking. I used to go to the assemblies, congregation. I used to go to church like a couple times a week. In a suit and tie, day. suit and tie all the time with the briefcase. I had my Bibles. I had my 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 pieces of literature, la talaya. But this, did you have God? Doc? I prayed. He was with me every day. Really? I prayed. I prayed to him. You every believed day. in it like a hundred percent. I believed in hundred percent. I used. I preached to some of my friends when they walked. I walked. <laughs> <laughs> I walked home uh, from middle school, and then uh, I usually gave my friend water from the hose. Cause I, I didn't let people inside my house. So I gave him water from the hose and then I was like, I'll be right back. And he was like, what's up? I was like, I'm going to show you something. And then I brought up the Bible and I read a, I read a scripture to him. Wow. <laughs> Were you all happy and shit? Y- yeah. But he was kind of like, <laughs> he was kind of like weirded out. Yeah. And he was kind of weirded out. And then he, sometimes he brings it up and looking back, I'm like, oh, what the fuck was I doing? Yeah. But there was a lot, there's a lot of, when I was growing up, there's a lot of kids that were in it, man. They were like prodigies and shit. Wow. Like when I was like 12, there was this five-year-old kid that was like the perfect perfect 
I kind of fucking hate that guy. Dude. He was fucking annoying because he was like, everybody loved him because he was like, oh, I want to preach every day. Everybody's like, oh my God, you're perfect. And then he was like, I want to grow up and just spread the word of Jehovah. Oh my and God. everybody was just like, oh, porque eres tan lindo, chiquillo. <laughs> everybody wanted me to be like him. Everybody wanted every kid to be like him. And he wanted to get baptized, which is pretty rare for a kid to get baptized. Oh, and Jehovah's rare as fuck? Yeah, I mean, not really not really young. I mean, at least in my congregation, everybody that got baptized was pretty older um, because, you know, when you get baptized and then if you try to get leave the church when you're baptized, that's when it gets really, really, mm. that's when you get excommunicated, cast out from the church, so your family stops uh, talking to you. So I always felt bad because I had a friend whose brother got, I mean, he was baptized. He was deep in the church. And then he got caught for doing something. I think he was watching porn or some shit. And then, and then like I went over and he was playing Halo. And I was like, hey, brother. I mean, hey, dude. Fucking, that's a cool. That's a, I wasn't cussing, but that was a cool. That's a cool game. What you do it? love Halo. You, you're, I love you, Halo yeah. since 2001. 2001. <laughs> I, I, oh, dude, I remember I was like, what game is that? Right. And he was yeah. like, he was just playing on the game. And I was like, hey, um, what are you playing? He was just playing, and he was like, and he told his brother, can you tell Joel he can't talk to me? Oh, my can God. Can you get him away from me? And then everyone's like, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Oh, my God. Because of Jehovah. Because he was excommunicated. He's excommunicated, yeah. Oh it's weird, God. man. It, like, yeah, I just want to play Halo, dude. Yeah, my mom found out that. My mom <laughs> played Halo. My mom found out that my brother was, like, living with his girl and sleeping with her. Obviously, Before getting married. Yeah. And I'll obviously, because they've, they've been together for like two years, three years now. And then she was like, you know, I'm going to tell the, the the elders from the church. And, you know, they tell me I shouldn't talk to them or I, I got to cut them off. And, you know, my loyalty is Jehovah. Like, oh, my crazy God. Crazy ass <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. it called? So, question. Yes. Before you were born, how deep were your parents into Jehovah? Like, how many years? I think... Uh, were they also born into it or no? No, my mom was Catholic. Catholic when oh. she when she left uh, the Mexicos, she came over here and then she was converted by uh, one of my best friend's moms at the time. He converted her, and then she became Jehovah Witness. And I don't know. I think it was like a four or five year, or th four or three years before uh, you were born. Before I was born, I think. Uh, so when I was born, that was all I knew. Wow. You know, ever since I was a young kid, like well, I was praying to Jehovah, going to church. So I thought he was a real deal. Yeah, I thought he was a, the legit. Second question. Yes. How many Latinos were in being Jehovah Witnesses, Doug? I mean, fuck. I mean, all, all. I mean, almost everybody in our church was Latino. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it was like, uh, um, it was like the Spanish congregation, and they had like English congregation. Um, no blacks. Yeah. I never saw a black guy. Uh, but it was a lot of Latinos, Mexicans, uh, a white here and there. But uh, it was all it was all Mexican peoples, man. I mean, looking back, it's kind of surprising, you know? Yeah. What's it called? My, I, I told you this before, that my grandma had a neighbor. My grandma has a big house in Paris, yeah. like the middle of fucking nowhere. And one of the neighbors put up a sign outside of their house, like an archway. Uh -huh. And it said, here lies the house of Jehovah. Jehovah. Right? Sa <laughs> Salon de Reino. That's yeah. how our church was. Salon de Reino. And, still it, and my grandma, when that happened, she was like, hey, oh. The madre fucking, she was just like so, uh, like she almost fainted and shit. She was like, oh, fuck, they're so close, you know? Yeah, man. Have you? It's like a religious, in Mexico or like in Latino culture, it's like a religious form of being a meth head, I think. You know Dude, what I, mean? it, I, I feel like it's kind of, everybody that I that I know thinks of it as like a cult. Yes. And it kind of is very culty. Very cult, cult Anything well. with elders, dog. I know, dude. Looking back at it, there's some weird shit. There's this old guy, I don't know, I don't know, I shouldn't say his name, but he was some old fucker. And then he was like Jimmy Seville. He was like the fucking the kingpin, right? Yeah. All the elders. He was like the elder of the elders. And then every other elder was like looked up to him and looked up to his word. Like, hey, come down. He would tell he people like, what, he's saying, what a thing. He would like. Nah. My friend was. Uh, uh, my brother would always come to him like, hey, this doesn't make sense. He would he would present like science information, like bring paperwork, and then my the elder was like, listen, my friend, you just have to have faith. You don't know what you're talking about. He said it in Spanish because he didn't speak English. But uh, that guy was like the kingpin. Everybody kind of just looked to him and look at the other people for like guidance and shit when anything in their life was going wrong. Um, and yeah, dude. And there's some, a lot of weird shit. Going yeah. On. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I remember like, did you have anyone you looked up to in the congregation? Uh, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. you know, his first and last name or her, his or her first and last name. You're like, I want to be like that full day. 
Dude, uh, that fool's got Jehovah all over. I actually forgot his name. He used to get Bible study from this guy, and he was kind of like a cooler, uh, looser Jehovah Witness. Like he was yeah. a Jehovah Witness. He'd give me Bible study, but he was kind of cool too, and he wasn't so like formal as everybody else. Because my mom would get people to try to give me Bible study because yeah. I guess I wasn't like uh, I was in there, but there was some stuff that I wasn't perfect at. Yeah. I wasn't like the, the a great child, you know. So they would try to get people to convert me even harder. But there was this one guy. I forgot his fucking name. But, you know, he just seemed like he was Jehovah Witness. He believed in it, but he was also like a cool regular dude. And it wasn't so intense and strict as everybody else. Like he was more forgiving. And other people, other people in the church just felt like if you weren't exactly this way, you weren't following every single thing that Jehovah was asking of you, then you're a fucking uh, a son of Satan. And you're a, <laughs> you're a part of this world that's governed by Satan. It's so crazy. The fucking, it's like you either the best person on earth or you're the worst fucking person on earth. Yeah, dude. They're very judgmental. Yeah. And they preach not to be judgmental. Yeah. And then fucking, if you're a little bit different, if you believe something a little bit different, they're like, you're not going to go to paradise. (laughs) You're going to die in that my own way. You're going to fucking get slaughtered, which is stupid. The whole idea of the Armageddon, because it's like they come with their horses and shit and destroy everything. Right. And then you, as a Jehovah Witness, you got to clean up. And uh, then you be, then you got to build the paradise. Yeah. And the I, whole time you could go evil. Yeah. I always thought, like, dude, how are you going to destroy my family and then make me clean up? And then I have to fucking wait a thousand years to be in paradise. Is what Jehovah wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how dare you question Jehovah, dude? Dude, Jehovah's a fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> I feel weird saying that because sometimes I'm like, oh, what if he's real? <laughs> what if he's real, man? Well, but what about uh, who is Jehovah, dude? Jehovah is just, it's the same God. As Christians and Catholics. It's just his name. Uh, it's like, we know something you guys. It's just kind of like, yo, it's, it's that's his name. Yeah. It's like, that's yeah, that's just his name. People so think it's a different the, guy. Who's the founder of Jehovah then? <sighs> this guy named H.G. Uh, Wells. Oh my no, God. that could be wrong. That's, 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 that's like a fucking Arthur, dude. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> H.G. something. H.G. Oh, okay. something. He, he's some white guy from like the 40s and 50s. White gay. <laughs> white gay. But he founded it. Um, yeah, he founded it. Good and was he a different denomination before finding Jehovah? I don't even know what denomination means. Denomination is like Baptist, Presbyterian, Catholic, those kind of things. Oh, I think he was like Catholic or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I read about him once, but I was like, this is kind of stupid. Yeah, I remember, dude, I'm telling you, like Jehovah was like always, it was like fucking um, evil in yeah. my family. Like my mom, there would be people knocking on doors. Obviously, the Jehovah Witnesses knocking on doors. If they were Mormon, my mom was a lot nicer to them, dude. But really? it was like, if they were Jehovah, she's just like evil. Well, Mormons look nicer, man. They have their bikes. Yeah. And they have like the nice suits. Yeah. I mean, they don't even have the nice clothes. It's, it's, everybody looks the same, right? Everybody's got the white shirt, but they're they're cute. But you get paid to do that. Oh, Mormons get paid to do that? Yeah, I did it for free. <laughs> I did it for free, dude. I did it for free. I did it for Jehovah. I did it for Jehovah. <laughs> My mom would wake us up in the morning and yeah. say, it's time to preach. And we would go, we would gather up with our people and then be like, hey, you're going to hit this neighborhood. You're going to hit this neighborhood. You're going to this neighborhood. Yada, yada, yada. We're going to come back in three hours and shit. And then go. And then we would go and hit certain neighborhoods. And then me, I remember when I was trying to come up, I was like, you know what, mom, stop talking to them. I'm going to talk to these people. And it was an Easter. And then I opened the door and then I was like, oh, I gave them like my scripture, the Atalaya, and I was opening it. And I said, like, have you heard about the word of Jehovah? Oh. And then he slammed the door on me. Jeez. Yeah. And then but he, when you're leaving the house, when your mom's like, hey, everybody, we're going to go preach. Is everyone like, oh, yeah. It's yeah, like an dude. exciting thing. Oh, my God. There was this one fucking girl. Because, like, I liked it. But then, like, after an hour and a half in the heat and, like, in the sun, yeah. you're just like, dude, okay, I get it. I get <laughs> what we're trying to do. But this is fucking stupid. Yeah. It's exhausting. Yeah. There was this one girl. I mean, everybody was excited, but there was this one girl in particular. I remember we were out there and she was like, oh my God, I can do this all day. And then all the other elders and we're like, oh my God, so beautiful. Yeah. I never was that passionate about it because it's it's a lot of walking around, dude. Yeah. You got a briefcase, it's heavy. You got a couple of Bibles on you. There's a lot of fucking bumpers in being a Jehovah Witness where you can't do certain things. You're not allowed to celebrate or shit. You know what I mean? You're not celebrating anything, dude. You're not allowed to celebrate. Are you allowed to mourn things? Like the opposite of celebration? Yeah. Okay, so you can mourn, but you can't celebrate. I mean- yeah, you can't celebrate anything. I didn't celebrate anything ever. Do you have like a guilty conscience of celebration now still or no? A little bit. Cause I think about my mom. Yeah. I think about me mom. But your mom's still just like straight face, happy birthdays and shit? No, she doesn't tell me happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah Straight yeah. face, just like, just like. She doesn't tell me shit, dude. 
She doesn't even know what my birthday is. She's never even blown a candle out. Maybe before. I don't know. I've never seen that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I want to. It's fucked. I remember like when I was like 14, obviously I've never celebrated birthdays or Christmas or anything, any holiday. And then uh, I remember people would invite me to the birthday parties. I was like, I can't go because of Jehovah. Right. But in my mind, I was like, man, I kind of just want to go. I mean, it sounds pretty dope. Yeah. I want to hang out with my friends. Yeah. And I was telling them, oh, I can't. I'm Jehovah Witness. And they were like, oh, you're weird. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I remember. Yeah. I, yeah. And so when was, like, did it hurt? Or were you proud to say you were Jehovah Witness? At first I was proud. But as I got older and older, like at 15, 16, 17, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Why yeah. am I? This is kind of stupid. Like, And that's when I realized, oh, I'm only in this because I was born into this. Yeah. You know? Um, so I kind of made more effort to try to not go to church, but, uh, that was hard because I would be like, I would just lock myself up in a restroom and shit and, or, or, but then they would just open the door and then just force me to go to church and I would fucking lock myself in the room, but I didn't have a room. I locked myself in my brother's room and they have the keys. So they would just open it up. So I tried to make an effort as like an older just to try to avoid or not being home. I would just go skate, but sometimes they'll pick me up from the skate park. So... I tried to make a more effort to not go as I got older, but, but yeah, man, like when I, when I was younger, I didn't realize like, not that I had like that part of my childhood kind of taken from me, but as I got older, I'm kind of like, ah, I kind of wish I had those memories, you know, of having Christmas and having Thanksgiving because now when I go to my, I go to my friend's house for like Thanksgiving or not Christmas. Cause I feel like that's still weird to me. Uh, just Thanksgiving. I always kind of feel like, man, I wish my family did this shit. Yeah. You know, I wish growing up I had this. I wish growing up I had presents from family. Because even though it's, it's just fucking like, they're just presents, but it's just like the, I don't know, I mean, you just feel regular, yeah. you know, birthdays and all that stuff. So I got my, I did my first birthday when I was like 19 or 18. Damn. A little cake. Did you go hard or no? No, it was just someone gave me a cake. I was like, <laughs> Did you cry? Uh, yeah, I felt like crying. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first uh, birthday I had sober. Somebody uh-huh. bought me a burrito, and I was just like, from Chipotle? No, 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 no. From where? From where? <laughs> I don't know. It was some place in the valley. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, burritos are good, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I cried, and I was like, "This is the best day of my life." Oh, yeah. Damn, I would. So, how long have you been sober again? Four uh, almost four years. I'm at three years and. Uh, 10 months. Damn, dude. Let's die yeah. for that. <laughs> I feel like, I know. I haven't gotten drunk in a month and a half. <laughs> but so, you've drank. I know. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> but I feel like, I know a lot of 30 year olds are just like sober, sober, sober. Yeah. And I feel like I'm heading that way. But you're 26, right? Yes. Damn. Yes. Either yeah. you're headed that way or you're dying at 27 like a no, rock star. No, 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 no. I don't want to be a rock star. I'm not a rock star. Yeah. I uh, I feel like one day I might go sober though because I've been feeling good without not drinking, without pounding. Is that considered celebration if you're drinking? Like, can you drink and be a Jehovah Witness? Um, I don't know. My mom never really drank. I've only seen her take a couple sips. I don't know. But they don't, don't got like the communion where you fucking go get some wine and, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I the don't blood think. of Christ. Oh yeah, they have like that that every March. Oh what? Yeah, only in March. Yeah, damn fool. Because they're like, this is when I forgot. Uh, because apparently when Jesus, when people think Jesus died that day, I think around Christmas or something, they're like, that's not really when he died, fool. Yeah, it's in March. So they do it in March, and then just—I mean, they just do. It's kind of basic. You know, I mean, even then, though, Easter's on a Sunday. Like every Sunday is different days. Like Jesus rose three days whenever he died. Or whatever the fucking tale is. Yeah, man. You know, we don't believe he, they don't believe he died on the cross. He just died, he died on a stick like this. Oh, really? Yeah, just on a little pole like this. That's what they think? Yeah, like he didn't die like this, like this. Which is weird, huh? That's, yeah. Which, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's weird. I mean, like, it's kind of weird how like, I don't know. I feel like they just made that distinction just to be like, we're different than you guys. Well, isn't that also like at the time was like one of the most brutal ways of torturing somebody was to crucify them? Yeah, but I don't, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. I feel like they added that like, oh, he didn't die like that. He died like this. <laughs> just to be like, hey, just to be like, we're different. We're, different, we're built different. By the way, dude. your fucking age don't matter, dog. <laughs> we're built different. <laughs> and they had pictures of him and like the literature just like this. Yeah. <laughs> So Man. the goal in being a Jehovah Witness is the goal eventually to become an elder? I mean, I think if you're 
if you're a guy, you move in, you move up in the ranks. And there's there'll be some little things like in the church to show that you're trying. Like something like if you're young, or uh, if you're just new, like there's some things like I would I would read uh, parts of the Bible in front of people. So I'd go up on stage and I read the Bible, and then that's like the first step. Then you start doing like uh, other little things like holding the mic. And then giving it to people and they have the talk and just walking around or doing sound. Like it's different it's it's weird. Like different parts of the production you can help out in. And then after that, you can if you really like are deeper into it, you can start giving like discursos, I guess speeches. Yeah. Speeches and shit. Short speeches, like 10 minute speeches, like every Wednesday. Um <clears throat> and then after that, you just keep on doing that, doing that, and then fucking you can have like a full a full meeting and people come from other parts of the country and they give like speeches and then it's always like a huge honor when other people come in. They're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hermano, lo que dijiste es el discurso te lo sentí mi corazón. Yo va hasta aquí. Oh my god! And sometimes they do it through Skype and shit. It's like they, you're Jehovah Witness, but you witness a lot of mental illness, dog. A lot of them were. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you know my mom thought I was gonna have Down syndrome when I when I before I, before I was born? Wait, so she thought you were going to have it? Yeah. Can they even tell you that now? She said that some liquid was going into my brain and the doctor was like, yo, you're Sid, you're something have Down syndrome. You want to get rid of it? <laughs> she was like, oh. <laughs> I no, she's like, Jehovah, Jehovah's watching. I can't do this. Oh my I'm gonna God. I'm going to love him. <laughs> even if, if, if he is hard. <laughs> and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes like I would tell my friends like, dude, I think I'm going to have Down syndrome. Yeah. But, but I might, I could have had Down syndrome. <laughs> I could have had Down syndrome. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I like how she wasn't like, no, he's mine. I'm going to have it. She's like, fuck, Jehovah's going <laughs> to judge like, my fuck. ass, dog. Yeah, man. Damn. Thank God I did it, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I could have been, I could have been. <laughs> not, not, it's, not, 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 it's not bad, dog. No, no, what it's the not, fuck? It's not bad. Oh, oh my God. Fuck. You get so loud about it. <laughs> I could have had Down syndrome. Yeah. Uh, how did we get there? I don't know. Okay, you yeah. just started saying the armor for no, 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 no. Uh, let's see, let's see. My mom. What was I talking about? What were we talking about? We're talking about. Uh, so my question was, um, the the goal of of being Jehovah Witness is basically to become uh, an elder, right? Yeah, but or you could just you know ride the wave. Just as long as you're preaching the word of God. Yeah. As long as you're there practicing it. Preaching, but what about being an elder? Is that what you want? Like, if you're if you were full on, let's get baptized at eighteen and keep sticking with Jehovah's word. He's the way, the truth, the life. Ideally, ideally, I mean that's what they want. At least that's what I wanted at one point, uh, just to move up in the ranks and be like an influence. And then they're kind of like, I mean, I don't know how priests and pastors are. They they come to them for guidance and shit and every and all parts of life, um, which I guess isn't totally bad, but. I mean, I don't know. It's not totally bad because you're going to them for guidance. You're going yeah. to them for help about life because life can be hard. And they're usually older people, so they do have more wisdom. Just yeah. in, like older people in general have more wisdom. But you know what's funny is that religion uses this word wisdom to be like, you have to get closer to God. That's more wisdom. Mm. But it's like, I felt like I got smarter when I stopped going to church, Doug. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like they want you to just know what church is, and that's considered wisdom. But it's like if you you know anything outside of church, you're like, oh, this guy's Satan, dog. You know? Yeah, that's true, man. I mean, yeah, because well, I mean, <laughs> once I when I was in the church, all I knew was all like, I don't really know about. I don't, I don't, I didn't learn anything from being there in yeah. terms of like life skills or sh whatever. I feel like I, like you said, I think I became more wise. Yeah. I learned a lot more with how to deal with people, how to navigate through my life just by living life and getting older as opposed to like, oh, fuck, well, this happened. Let me go to the Bible. Go to the Bible. What I do, what I do. But there are some nice things. Like my mom was talking to me a couple of weeks ago about how the Bible helped her with her relationship with my dad. Yeah. Because my dad was an angry man mm -hmm. for a long time growing up. And then sometimes she didn't know how to deal with him. He didn't do anything crazy. He was just like a loud, angry Mexican yeah. man from Culiacan, Sinaloa. Fool. He was a crazy guy. That crazy ass place, dude. Crazy for a drug dealer. Fool. He used yeah. to sell weed. Jeez. Killed somebody. Oh, what the fuck? But yes. Yeah, so he shit on How are you it. just going to brush past that? I probably shouldn't say that. Bro. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? I mean, it's true. <laughs> Stop. But I shouldn't say. It. But uh, yeah, she went to the, the Bible. 
to like look for help and how to how to deal with like this difficult difficult part in the relationship where he's so angry and then she didn't know how to deal with like she didn't know how to navigate the situation. But it helped her a lot. And I've seen it help other people who just use it for like guidance and how to be like a better person, which I guess um, I wasn't looking into that because I was so young. I was only listening to like, oh, you got to do this. You can't do yeah. this. That, 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 that. Uh, but it does help some people, which I don't mind. But when they get very extreme, like Jehovah Witness is pretty extreme. Yeah. That's just like, dude, calm the fuck down. I mean, all that's, I feel like all the major denominations have ex- extreme people in them. And that's what keeps the motor running. When I was in uh, 11th grade, I used to go to church every day during high school. That's yeah. all I would do is go to Catholic church, Sacred Heart. In 11th grade, it was like English class, which by the way, fucking why are we talking about what we want to do for the rest of our lives in English? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just teach me how to comprehend shit, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're stupid. Uh, so I'm in English class and for whatever reason, it's like, what do you guys want to be when you grow up, right? And everyone has to go around and you have to stand up, say the shit and sit down. Right. Yeah. And so everyone's standing a firefighter. Gah, gah, gah. And then like, I want to walk dogs or whatever. Fucking. Stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Lazy ass 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 fool. <laughs> Already lazy. Ass fool. God damn. Stupid at 16, 17 year olds. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I stood up and I was like, I want to be a priest. Oh, and everyone shit. was like, no. <laughs> that is pretty weird, dude. Yeah. yeah. Why did you want to be a priest so hard? I, dude, I didn't realize that was weird until I stood up and said it in front of the class. Oh, they do wear cool clothes. Yeah. I, know, I <laughs> yeah. was like, I was like, for sure, I want to be a priest. That's all I ever fucking knew. I just would go to church and had my friend groups at church. Uh, when, did you, when did you realize you didn't want to be a priest anymore? Um, I so like I stopped going to church. There was this one time where this dude Adam walked over to my sister and said, "Fuck you." Right. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> and, I mean, he might have been trolling or whatever at the yeah. time. He was like some metal dude. You know how fucking metalheads get into like god metal and shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's scary. He shit. was one of these kind of fools. And he went over to my sister and he said, "Fuck you," and then walked away from her. And then somebody was like, "Hey, bro, Adam said fuck you to your sister." And I and I just went into demon mode. I was like, mm, "Don't say that to my sister." You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And I walked over to Adam and I was like, "Hey, fool, did you say fuck you to my sister, Doug, or what?" You know? Yeah. And then he was like, "Yeah," and I pushed this fool into the pillar, and then we got broke up. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah. But then I got, uh, he, he got, uh, what's it called? Expelled basically from the church. Yeah. To, he couldn't go back to events or whatever. And I just stopped going, oh, you know? Oh. You could have been a priest. You would have been a bad priest. I would have been a terrible, I would have been drinking and shit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Do they, are those people that you got to tie your sins to or are those the other people? Are those other people? Priests? Yeah. 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 Priests lead fucking... But you know when you go in that room and you have to knock? Yeah. The sliding door? Yeah, yeah, That priest had been bad. And then the, the door opens and they're like, what's up, fam? What's you know up, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> I've been bad. I've been bad. Father. I jack off. <laughs> jack off right now. <laughs> Let me see you do that same one more time. <laughs> no, yeah. I was like super down. And then um, after that happened, like that summer, I had gone to Florida with my uh, grandpa for a month. Yeah. Like we drove to Florida, drove back. And the whole time was a month. Like we stopped in a bunch of places or whatever. And I came back and I was like a, a new man, dude. Wow. And I was just ready for life. Yeah, man. Never went back to church. You don't need to go back. No. No. I, I was always jealous because they don't have to wear like formal clothing. Yeah. Everybody looks like re- regular, regular clothes. Yeah. And I have to wear suits all the time. Yeah. And look good all the time. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Good, yeah. Yeah. Looking fucking fire with yeah. ass. And none, of them, none of the clothes fit me. They were for my brother. So I was always oversized. <laughs> So everything fit me really big, but damn, they look pretty good, man. No, I know. I wish I wore a suit every day, dude. I mean, I can't. I don't wear. I don't wear suits every day. You look good. You wear weird clothing sometimes. I do. I really yeah. do. Yeah. Especially when I first met you, because every shirt you used to wear was always stained and fucking disgusting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't like those shorts because they're too long. These shorts I've had since high school, Doug. Get better ones. I know. There's, there's so, so many long. holes in them and shit. Yeah. What are, I do like your shoes though. Your shoes are nice. My shoes are dope. Show dog. it to the camera. Don't trust. Don't trust somebody with fucking black Air Force One shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you know, uh, I didn't cuss my whole life until I got out of the whole witness. And shit. Yeah. So my friend would always be like, "Hey, uh, my friend Alex." It was like, "Hey," because he knew I was religious because he's like my closest friend, and he was like, "Dude, sick. just cuss, dude, just cuss." I'm like, "No," and he's like, "Say fucker, just say fuck." And yeah. I always be like, "Stop, stop." Yeah. But then well, I remember one time I got upset about something and I cussed in my head. Yeah. And then like I had, had to take a knee and I was like, "Oh my god, why did no say you are pecado que that I've committed." I prayed after I after I cursed. Oh my god. Yeah, because I just felt so bad, and 
You and, felt like you were turning into the demon. Yeah, yeah. I just said son of a bitch in my head. I You're like, like, son of a bitch. You're like, what did I, I just do? And then I sat down and I just did a prayer. Padre Nuestro Jehová que estás en los cielos, ayúdame porque ha sido un pecado muy grande. Oh my God, dude. And then after I left the church, I was just cussing a lot. Yeah. And I just felt like, oh, this feels fucking good. Did you feel, do you feel like you overcompensated? You started cussing way more than you would yeah, have? Yeah, it was pretty annoying. Yeah, I was just cussing a lot. And then now you're kind of like in the middle ground. Yeah, I'm trying to cuss less because I do cuss a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not good. Yeah. It's not professional. It doesn't look good on me. I went over to my uncle's house the other day and I was so proud of myself. I cussed twice. Yeah. As opposed, you've, you've heard me talk. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 So I went over to my uncle's house and I was like, I was telling him a story and there was this one time where I was like, fuck. I was like, mm. ah, fuck. I said that. And then I said ass. Like one, ass in, a, in another a, story. Ass isn't a bad word. No, I know. But I was like, ass, ass, ass. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, you, you cuss a lot, dude. I fucking do, dude. Yeah, yeah. You, I like it when you fucking cuss, <laughs> dude. You cuss yeah. really good. There's, a, I mean, nah, I feel like I could do a better job cussing. Like cuss more? No, like I can, like dog. If I'm in my flow state and I'm cussing like good, dog, that's what I want to do all the time. Oh, dude, cussing is it's, it's there's good. an art to it, dude. Fuck, <laughs> not son like that, of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Like yeah. imagine if you work at a convenience store, right, or Seven yeah. Eleven or something. Yeah. Those fools know how to fucking cuss at you, dog. Yeah, man. If you do something bad, if you're stealing something, they just start B wording, F wording, S wording shit at you like crazy, dude. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Okay, yeah, not like that. Yeah, that's, that's not you impressive. Son of a bitch, dude. Or like New Yorkers. I feel like New Yorkers, their religion is learning how to cuss. Man, I want to go to New York. You want to live there or no? It's too expensive. Do you think you'll ever be a Jehovah again? No. Never? My mom tries to get me to go yeah. back. She's always like, you're going to die in Armageddon. And then uh, it kind of scares me a little bit. What if Armageddon is real? That's so crazy. I don't think it's real. It's wild to think that. I don't that, know if it's yeah. real because especially how they have it in the pictures, everybody's dying and then there's like a fucking like <laughs> Jesus on a horse and there's like five, <laughs> 10 angels behind them. They're just flying through space. Um, and I, I told mom, that's not going to happen. Yeah. And then she gets mad. <laughs> but like the pictures look so fucking dramatic. It looked, dude, this looks so bad. Yeah. But I hope it doesn't happen, dude. I mean, I don't know, man. There's still that like little kid inside I mean, of you that's like, what are you doing, Joel? Dude, yes. Because yeah. it was a part of my whole life. So yeah. when I do something bad or like anything, like, or when I think something bad or do something bad, I'm always like, oh, God. <laughs> I would kind of look always like, Jehovah, I'm <laughs> are sorry. Are we good, Doug? Are we what? good, fool? Yeah. And then when I talk shit about Jehovah, I just feel like, damn, what if like I'm wrong? Yeah. But then I don't think so. Because everybody, every other, every religion is fucking... Yeah. Things are the right one, man. Did you, when you left Jehovah, did you go like think to yourself like, what am I going to be then? Or were you Hell done with no. religion? I'm done. I was done. Yeah. Because oh, then they started talking shit about me. Yeah. That I'm a travieso. Oh yeah. I'm a bad kid. You're a bad boy. I, that, and then they didn't want any of the kids hanging out with me anymore. Yeah. So my friends couldn't talk to me anymore from oh, the church. Oh my God. Because I was a bad kid. I was like, my friend was like, oh, I can't talk to you because my parents said you're a bad influence. Like, then don't talk to me, Doug. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> I wanted to talk to them. They're my only friends. Uh, <sighs> that that's was sad. Dude. Yeah, that was pretty. That was, and I told my mom that she didn't give a fuck. It's so crazy to me because I was talking to my uncle about this recently. We were talking about something else. Yeah. Like a very touchy subject, abortion, right? Don't ever talk to anyone that's older about abortion. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, you guys may think the same, but it's like people just get in fights no matter what, right? Yeah. So we were talking about that. And uh, I told him, like, if everything's perfect in God's world, then you can make your own choices. You right? I regret saying that shit. Dog. I regret <laughs> yeah, saying that shit. Idea, yeah. If everything's perfect in God's world, that's what religion is. Yeah. You know, I trust God. Everything, take everything over to God. But you're not cool with this fool or that fool. Like, no, fool, they're part of God's world. dog. You know what I mean? You know, God's a murderer, dude. Yeah. God has killed a lot of people in the Bible. When someone disobeyed him, he's like, sends angels to fucking wipe out everybody. Yeah. Kill their firstborn child. And the devil is just fucking like, hey. Just chill. <laughs> I don't hey. know about that. The devil's like, you see what it's doing. <laughs> so if anyone, I'm not saying I'm Satanist. But the devil is pretty a nice guy in the Bible. He's not that not that bad of a guy. I mean, in terms of like 2022, maybe. Yes. You know? yes. But in terms of zero AD, where you're just like, oh my God, what the fuck? There's a, I need food today. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, there was a story in the Bible, the story of Ob or Job or Job. Like, 
Job. <laughs> yeah, Job. Job. The no, not Job. Not that. The guy who Fucking lived. Jesus the guy who lived in the whale. Oh, Noah. For th- no. <laughs> no, no, for three days. What's his name? For three nights. Fuck. I don't know his name. Oh. But then that's the story that people bring up a lot, especially in the churches. Like when they when they say everything, when they're like everything in the Bible is truthful, mm-hmm. every fucking thing, and you bring up that story, and that's that that's the they use their go to phrase like, "Hey, you gotta have faith, man." Oh my god! You gotta have fucking faith, and you and then you're there, like, dude, how could he survive in a whale yeah. for three fucking days? No, like what that is he eating whale jelly and shit? Yeah, like, what is he doing? Yeah, no. And they're like, you gotta, tienes, tienes que tener, uh, how do you say faith? Faith in Spanish. I don't know. You don't, oh, you don't know Spanish, huh? I know, I still, I know Spanish. Well, don't put that shit out there, Doc. When you order the burrito, you, you spoke in perfect Spanish. I did, fool. I wrote, <laughs> the, uh, carne asada burrito. I was con, like, carne asada. Con mucho queso yeah. y guacamole. Aguacate. Agu- oh, aguacate. Yeah. I just started liking, uh, liking uh, avocado and aguacate and guacamole. You didn't get it yesterday, though. Huh? Because sometimes it's not good. It's fucking bomb. Dude. No, it's not good in everything, though. It's not good in everything. Oh, my God. I, I used to hate it. I went to my friend's house and uh, he gave me a, a, a sandwich a wheat bread and just avocado. Yeah. And then I had to sit down with him and eat it and I got very nauseous. <laughs> I got very, it was fucking disgusting. <laughs> but I didn't want to, I didn't want to be, be mean. It was like avocado it. toast or what? It was just bread with avocado. Avocado so, toast. I know, but the toast is like, you got to put like uh, other ingredients on the toast, right? Avocado toast, right? No, I'm saying avocado. Toast, like avocado. Toast, toast is like when you put eggs on it and you dip it in oil and then you put the toast in there. You and put you fuck, eggs on toast, right? No, like when you make toast toast, it's like you fucking dip the bread. That's French toast, homie. Oh, then what's regular toast? Toast is just fucking, you you know, toasters, you put it in there, ding, comes yeah, out. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's wheat bread. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's bread. That's why well, I use wheat bread. That's wheat bread. You You're not making there. sense. Well, avocado toast, dog. There's not but really toast. Lot. Is not just the bread. It's the bread that you dip it into shit. You can't just have a bread and be like, yo, this is toast. Yes, you can. Like a slice of bread. That's not toast. That's bread. What the fuck is happening right now, <laughs> dude? dude? Of, you know the square breads? Bread you, squares. Bread? Yes. Bread. You got to dip it into something for it to be toast. For French toast. Then what the, that's not just French toast. Toast, you add another ingredient there. Or also Butter? Just, or also just a slice of bread. Uh, and if you toast it, it's called <laughs> toast. Burst. No, <laughs> you burn everything. <laughs> Are you serious? That's all it, that toast is. Damn, just, Jehovah just, fucked your head up, dog. I gotta go back. <laughs> oh, are you for real? Yeah, I'm being 100 percent for real. That's kind of make me look stupid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I want to look fucking stupid. <laughs> already oh my god no, stop saying say that, that. No, jesus no, no, christ I, that. I almost did have down syndrome though <laughs> <laughs> uh damn i'm really glad i didn't get it though uh, i had a question for you yes um do you know if uh, jay-z is a jehovah witness jay-z yeah like the rapper yeah i don't know why I mean, oh he has a song he says jehovah is, does he or is that kanye no he says he's hove Hove? Yeah. He's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what Jay-Z's dude. name is. That's, <laughs> that's disrespectful, dude. He says, H to the Izzo, V to the Izzé. And then he says, no birthdays. I don't need to celebrate. Oh, really? Yeah. He says that? I no, he doesn't it. say that. He doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's Jehovah's Witness or not. Is there any celebrity Jehovah Witnesses? Hell no, dude. No one what? wants to be Jehovah's Witness. Imagine Tom Cruise. That would be fucking cool. <laughs> I, there, I, there's nobody that's Joe Winners. He's Mission Impossible is just about him avoiding parties. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> man. No, man, there's nobody. I was alone. <sighs> uh, let me, I want to ask my phone really quick. Let me see. Hey, Siri, are there any celebrities that are Jehovah Witness? 28 famous people who were or currently are Jehovah Witnesses. Oh, man. 28? That's a lot, dog. Who's going to want to be Jehovah Michael Wins? Jackson? Serena Williams? <laughs> no, that's not right. Michelle Rodriguez? Is None of those are. That's not true. Da- Donald Glover, Childish Gambino? No, that's not true. What the fuck? No, that's not true. That full parties all the time? Yeah. And he probably does a lot of bad shit. And Prince? There's no way any of those are Jehovah's. He Winters. converted to Jehovah Witness in 2001, shortly after his mother's death. Prince? Prince, it says right here, Doc. And did he say Jehovah's Witness? I doubt it. I don't know. I don't. He was fucking so. a lot, though. You can't be fucking if you're not married. 
Oh shit! Then he, yeah, he's out. You can't be fucking if you're not married. You're not Jehovah Witness. Michael Jackson was raised as a Jehovah Witness, dude. Did he say Jehovah Witness? You no. dead, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't also be touching kids as a Jehovah yeah. Witness. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, Damon Damon Wayans. Damn, Damon Wayans. Dwight D. Eisenhower. What the fuck? I didn't know any of these people were Jehovah Witness. You, you're gonna go back now. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Terrence Howard, notorious B.I.G. Dude, that's that list is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that list is bullshit. I had nobody to look up to as a Jehovah Witness. It was Naomi just, Campbell. Damn, none of those people are really Jehovah Witness. Janet Jackson. They would have hide it from the world of Jehovah Witness. <laughs> Let's see, Venus and Serena Williams. Yeah, um, we're almost done here. Sorry, the Wayans brothers. Okay, they're just putting a bunch of brothers and shit. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's not a real list. My ja God. Rule, fool. That makes sense. That fool's Fuck the, that's the that's the Firefest guy, isn't it? Yeah. That's a joke. Selena. She's not. Selena was a Jehovah Witness, dang? <laughs> They're just saying. That's bo- true. No, she That's did. true. Uh, Selena was a Jehovah Witness. You know why? Why? Because when she died, her dad um, wouldn't disclose, like, there was, like, something about, like, saving her life or something, but he wouldn't get blood transfusions done or something. This is a fucking, oh. I don't want to be the one to put that out there. Yeah. Because people online will be like, fuck that fool. Fuck, the, Gerardo's a fucking idiot. This and yeah, that, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's true. Like, there's some kind of like, if you look it up, Selena's dad during the time of her death was like trying not to fucking um, do anything with like because of his religion, which yeah. is probably Jehovah. You know, I forgot why they don't. They're not allowed to do that. They're not allowed to give blood. See, that's what. See, it's true, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. but I forgot what's the reason for it. Because you're getting Satan blood, dog. I want Satan blood. <laughs> <laughs> now you do. You fucking- but, uh, I I don't remember because I remember. Uh, because yeah, it's a sad thing if your fucking kid needs blood. And you're just you're like, nah, nah Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe wasn't like this. Yeah. yeah. You're dead. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. It's also fucked up for Yolanda to go in there and shoot the bitch. You know what I mean? You know, I, didn't even know she, uh, I didn't even know she died. Yeah, she died recently, right? Selena? Selena? Oh, so no, Selena died. I was No, y- <laughs> Yolanda's still alive, dog. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Yolanda. No, 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 I'm talking about Selena. Yeah, Selena did as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that she died. Yeah. Or how she died until like re- like a couple, like a year or two ago. Wait, so show. you know now, right? I do know now. Oh, okay. That the, right, that right. the homie shot her. The, no, not the homie. She was- The best friend. The best friend? Right? No, no, no. Who no. shot her? Like, she's a crazy fan. So, so Yolanda was a crazy fan, was close to Selena, became the fan uh, club manager or whatever, like the yeah. fan club. This is before the internet and shit where like fucking you don't even see these people, right? Yeah. Um, so she was close with Selena, was part of the entourage or whatever for the time being, and then she was stealing money. She was embezzling money from Selena. And then fucking Selena found out for whatever reason, Selena went herself to this hotel uh when she was advised not to go by herself. Also, I, I don't write books or anything. I don't know what the fucking hundred percent truth, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So she went to by herself. And Yolanda fucking capped her ass, dog. Capped her in the fucking ass, dude. Like, you know, and probably in the chest or something. But yeah. Oh, damn, dude. <clears throat> Crazy. <sighs> See, I didn't, I didn't know all that. Yeah. I thought, I thought, uh, I didn't even know how she died. I thought she was just old. Yeah. And late at was... night when I'm dreaming, I can't stop thinking of you. I don't know how to quote the song. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, late man. at night when I'm I don't even know any of the songs besides BD, BD, Bomb, Bomb. Sleeping, I stay up and think. Of Jehovah, Jehovah, and I wish on Jehovah, and I wish on Jehovah <laughs> that somewhere you are not celebrating your birthday. I wish I celebrated a <laughs> birthday here and there. <laughs> my mom said that's not what you're gonna do. So go over there. Oh, oh. I'm stupid. Dog. I'm like, that was good. Dog. That was good, man. Uh, no Christmas for you. <laughs> <laughs> Boo hoo. Uh, oh, that's fucking suck. Late at night on Christmas Eve, I do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just sad, dude. I yeah. remember I was at my cousin's house. They were celebrating Christmas. And then I woke up in the middle of the night and they were downstairs and just like, oh my God, you got me what? Right? And yeah. I was just fucking like, fucking cry no oh. i was just awake and i was like i'm bad i was just fucking like and then you you cracked open your bible like i need to deal with this shit right now dude oh no, man i was fucking <laughs> furious <laughs> oh uh, i'm so sorry dude that's sad it's it, not it's, sad man it's necessary it was, uh, are you happy that you were jehovah i don't know do you think it made you a stronger man now i don't think 
Or did, is that why you work out so much? Because you feel so weak. I'm fucking fat, now, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking fat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I have nothing anymore. Ugh. But uh I don't I don't know if it made me a stronger person. It made me anything. It just made me fucking interesting uh memories. How long into a new relationship do you tell somebody that you used to be a Jehovah Witness? I don't I don't even have any fucking relationships. On average, you know what I mean? Like cause you work with people all the time and like we were driving back from a, a gig in Tucson. And then, like, half the drive back, we were talking about you being a Jehovah Witness. Oh, yeah, yeah, But, yeah, like, yeah. did you talk to the guy we were working with before about all that? I don't know. Sometimes, uh, I don't talk to everybody. Yeah. There's there's sometimes where people, the conversation, it's, like, a, something that could be brought up. Yeah. You know? Um, but it's always, like, the same reaction. It's like, what? Really? Wow. Crazy, you know? though. That's fucking like, crazy for, like, we're in, like, a little bit. I was like, yeah. dude. Like 18 years, dude. You're like, I still have the suit, Doug. I still have the suit. <laughs> it fucking fits I, me. I still have all the fucking Bibles, dude. <laughs> I still have everything, man. Yeah. Uh, did you have a Bible with like Joel Romero on it? Or, yeah. Or did it say Brandano for it? <laughs> I, I had a little Bible that was just fucking big. Oh, and on I, the go, Doug? Yeah, and I always loved opening it and just listening to the sounds of it going through. Like, the word of God. Like. Oh, God, I still got, there's a scripture I used to read a lot that I showed my friends. It's Corinthians, no, Salmos. 83, 18. Yeah. That just says the name of God is Jehovah. Now I'll show That's that to, I'll show that, <laughs> yeah. I'll show that to all my friends. Your friends are like, what the <laughs> fuck? Is Joel okay? <laughs> and then my, my name is in the Bible. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, Joel? Yeah, the book of Joel. That's how my mom named me. <laughs> the whole book is just, ar, 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I um, It's just interesting memories, man. Yeah. Now I don't. I don't think it made me like a better, or worse person. It yeah. just made me. First of all, it made me hate the fucking religion for Doc, sure. Going through these fucking names of celebrities and shit. Why doesn't? Why don't the elders be like, "Hey, fool, we got Selena, <laughs> Damon, <laughs> Selena. you know, Damon Wayans, we got Damon Wayans, you know, what I'm saying? Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> man. I, if I was an elder fool, I'd be like, "Hey, we need to fucking market this shit, dog." Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you would be. I don't think I could see you as a. Elder, you man. can you, see me as an elder. No, no, no. You'd be like the regular guys, man. You'd be like the regular guys. You don't got like the what fucking. The fuck, Doug? You don't got like. What I don't it have takes. elder material. You don't got what it takes to be an elder. What do I have to have? You need fucking to be fierce. No, you need to be. You need to be like calm, and collected. I'm chill, Doug. No, no, no. You need like your words. You need like a presence when you walk into a room. Everybody's like. Like, don't, you do that all the time when I walk in. No. <laughs> no. When I walk in, I'm like, hello. hello, hello. <laughs> uh, damn, I'm sweating, huh? Yeah, you're really sweaty. Yeah, I look good right now. But that's not any different, fool. You're always fucking I'm sweating. I'm always fucking right? sweating, huh? Yeah. God damn it, dude. I look like Especially shit. Especially when you start talking about Jehovah, you're just all wet and shit. I get know? nervous talking about it, dude. Really? Just, I was like, oh my God. Like, but I, they're not like Scientologists, where Scientologists come at you hard, homie. I know, but like, but is it real or is it not, though? <laughs> what Scientology? Oh, all, all religion or what? Jehovah Witness, Jehovah. Are they gonna? Is the end of the world gonna come? And then they're gonna look at me and be like, "You were once one of us." But like, you've already made a choice, though. You made a choice where it's like, "Fuck that shit," and that's resonated. You're not gonna go back to Jehovah. Don't I know, you? but they're still a part of me. No, well, do, stop. <laughs> they're, they're still a part of you. Yes, but just like, stop showing your chest. No, no, they're still a part of me. That just kind of like there's a voice in your head, or yeah, like a small one, like a little one. Yeah, a little one. Just because I've been in it, I wasn't in it for a long time. That's like you never know, man. What's gonna? You never know. But you do know. You know. Like as far as you living, you're not gonna go back to Jehovah, right? No, man. Hell no. So then the voice in your head is just that moral compass you develop from religion, right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. what. That's what I walk away with from Catholicism. Like, still, my mom came to visit my apartment three weeks ago, and she the first thing she asked me is like, "Where's the Catholic Church at, Doug?" You know what I mean? And then I was like, I don't know. I, don't fuck I was like, know. I was acting like I'm blind. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then, and then uh, we went to go get food right here down the street. Yeah. And on the way we passed, there's a fucking Catholic church next to my apartment. Fool. And she got so happy. And she was like, well, there it is. Fool. She's like screaming. <laughs> she was happy. Yeah. Did She's she like, okay, different? every Sunday, you know, you're going to go to the church. You know what I mean? You get, oh, man. I, uh, but like, it's just, it's something that I did and I enjoyed it a lot when I was younger it developed a moral compass within me. There may be some Catholic guilt there also, but yeah. I feel like, you know, if I live by these tenets of like, you know, don't kill, don't steal, all this shit, right? Yeah. Then I live a good life. And that's that's what I took away from my religion. 
Yeah, man. And also, let's, 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 uh, I feel like everybody should live those by those. You know what I mean? Don't kill people. Yeah. Don't do that shit. Yeah, dude. There's like, dude, you know, we live in hell, dude. Dude, dude, we live with Satan, dude. Satanás, dude. Satan? I love the name Satanás. Okay, dude. don't stop. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I, I, uh, obviously in the in the in the world of religion, there's like a lot of angels, demons, yada, yada. But once I got out of it, I was like, dude, I want to see some shit. I want to see yeah. like some. I want to feel like a demon on me. And oh shit. my god! I want to feel like some. I want to see a ghost, like yada yada. What do you mean? Because that's how I would go to scary places to try to see. Like I want to oh. see like a demon. I want to see this. Because like I I believed in it and then I got out of it and I was like, oh, is it was it even real? Is there anything out there besides like just he, like is there is there any spiritual world that exists at all? Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause So you went looking for it. Yeah, I went like, dude, I wanna feel like like is is are is are ghosts even real? Yeah. Is that even real? Because I feel like if that's real, then obviously Everything else yeah, is everything real. Yeah, everything else is real. So I would go to places, scary places that are haunted and be like, I want to see something. I want to fucking hear some shit. I want to yeah. s- see like a fucking demon like upside down. Yeah. Oh, I want to see some demon. What if you ran into Selena and she's like, you're not Jehovah anymore, you know? <laughs> and and she was naked. No! <laughs> she had to be naked. I right? mean, ghosts, she- like if ghosts are real, they're probably naked. And if they're not, then it's probably some shit that you got going on in your head. Like, no, that my, liquid that you, when you were in your mom's belly, is that's the fucking ghost liquid. The Down shit. syndrome liquid? <laughs> no, that's, what, that. that's what he said. He <laughs> said I have Down syndrome. My mom was like, should I keep it or what should I do? Yeah. And thankfully, she kept me. <laughs> or did she? What if you're the ghost? <laughs> <laughs> no, in my luck, if I went to like a, a scary place and a ghost came out, it'd probably be like a Michael Jackson. Damn fool. Dude, Michael Jackson. He's like, does. he's like, bend over. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Jehovah. Jehovah. Jehovah wants me to bend over. Uh, I'll bend over. <laughs> didn't Michael Jackson have a song about celebrating? He's not Jehovah Winneson. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All that list is bullshit. So are you even allowed to say the word? Jehovah? Celebrate. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can say that? Yes. Yeah, I saw a couple of heathens celebrating the other day. No, you can do you can say it. You can say all those words. So there's freedom of speech in oh, Jehovah yeah, yeah. Witnessing. I think to a certain point until you start going against the church. So you're okay, so the name Jehovah Witness is like the the par, the parishioners are witnesses of Jehovah basically, right? Pretty much. Yes. I so, don't know. But yes. Have you ever seen Jehovah? Like you've seen God or anything? <sighs> no. Cuz when I was younger, I went to a fucking retreat for church, right? This is probably eighth grade or something, right? Yeah. And I was like, we were doing adoration. Where they bring like the fucking tabernacle or whatever it's called. They put it in the middle of the room and they put in a piece of bread and they're like, let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you do adoration where you're just like, ha, ha, right? And then, <laughs> like, right? Yeah. And then like, I was like, ha, 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 right? I feel and like then, you're always <laughs> like that, though. I feel like you're always like, ha, 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 ha. And then like, out of nowhere, I'm just like starting to see Jesus and I'm like, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, it was like my mind playing tricks on me in a way. I was like, I really wanted to see that. You know? <sighs> I know, but that's your mind working really hard though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I see, I want some experience like that, man. I've heard about exorcism, heard about, but then I heard exorcisms aren't even real. But then again, have you ever meditated? No. They make you sit in the room for like an hour, an hour and a half doing adoration. You're fucking meditating after a certain point. You're not allowed to talk to people. Everyone's like, but, like everyone's just doing their best zombie impression in the, <laughs> in a room with Jesus in it. You know what I mean? Dude, I don't know. I don't, meditating seems like, I've had friends who meditate. Yeah. But it seems like way too hard of a thing. But when I, when I meditate, you feel something, dude. Like when, when you're meditating, you feel as if you're in a different place. I don't want to work that hard to feel something. It's not, you don't I do anything the, though. I want an angel to come down on me. <laughs> Ew. Come down on me. <laughs> I want an angel to fucking, I see people are like, oh, I saw a little girl with the white dress in my house. I see people say a bunch of that shit. I want to see some. You're stuff like, like, show that. me where she. Show me where that bitch. Is. <laughs> I never see some shit like that, man. Yeah, there's a ghost right there. <laughs> we got Harry right here. Like, like, he's, he's like, I'm right here. Can he move his hands at all? No, no. Mm. He's just always ready for a hug, dog. Give him a hug. I did. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> But no, I mean, like that, in my opinion, was just me in a meditative state. Because when I do a meditative state now, it's, it's in an effort to for me to go to sleep or for me to just clear my head before I record or whatever that is. I'll sit for, I'll give myself like 12 minutes. 
I know what my meditative state is and I reach that meditative state and you allow thoughts to come and go. You don't really like, you know, think about it or too much like Selena was Joe, what the fuck? And that goes yeah. right. Like those kind of things you sit there. You, I, for me, my meditative state is if my eyes are closed, I feel like I'm in the biggest room at all, of all time, but still kind of claustrophobic in a way, mm. but like that I can operate within the space. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I don't know, man. I feel for me, like my, I can't calm myself down sometimes my mind, you know, I can't shut it off. I can't like just calm down and focus and just like, well, not with that attitude, fool. It's fucking hard, man. I can't even, it's hard to just shut it all off and just relax and not think about nothing. And then just think about like, your heartbeat or some bullshit. No, don't do that. You got to just think about your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. That's all that's important, Doug. I don't know, but even that's hard because your mind is still going. Like, I don't I don't know how you can shut off your mind and just kind of be clear-headed and just not hear shit. Get sober. <laughs> sober. <laughs> you know, some people don't hear thoughts. What do you mean? Don't have thought? like an uh, internal monologue in their head. That's fucking bullshit. Did you hear that? You can look that up. Are you serious? Yeah, my friend said, your friend, fool. my friend. No, and then I looked it up and found that it was true. Not everybody has a voice in their head, being like, you know how now you're like Joel, like you're fucking sweaty, and then, yeah. And then you probably have something in your head, like, hey, doing your shit, right? <laughs> yeah. Not everybody has that. What do you mean? So some people don't have that. It's just like, they don't. where's your proof? What the fuck? Look at huh? <laughs> <laughs> you looked up the Jehovah Witness bullshit. Okay, let me see. Not everybody has an internal monologue. All right, hey Siri. Does not everyone have an internal monologue? I don't, some people process thoughts and feelings differently. The little voice in your head can be your worst critic and greatest supporter. It's been known to help with direction. Oh my God, just get to the fucking answer. Uh, not everyone processes life in words and sentences. Okay, so they do colors and shit, dog. Okay, but no, that's still- No, I'm saying that uh, people just- Maybe I read it wrong. <laughs> maybe, I read, man, maybe I read it wrong. Um, with true inner speech, you almost hear your inner voice- you're aware of its tone and intonation. Uh, the voice can sound angry or worried. Research has shown that children as young as five to seven can utilize an inner voice. Some studies suggest kids may use some form of inner phonetics as early as 18 to 21 months of age. There's a better article, but we'll look for it later. But the point is, not everybody has a crazy inner monologue. Yeah. Some people is just kind of like... They're talking about dimensions and shit, dog. This is like, you know what I mean? Scientists have fucking jumped the shark, dog. I wanted to be a scientist when I was younger. I wanted to be a paleontologist. Oh, really? You wanted to use a toothbrush to find fucking bones and shit? Yeah. I used to go to my backyard. Yeah. And then get my toothbrush. Yeah. And then fucking just pretend I'm looking for dinosaurs. <laughs> And then use it afterwards. <laughs> and then use your toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 we should look up. <laughs> we should look up famous, 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 famous paleontologists, paleontologists, paleontologists that were Jehovah oh, Witnesses. <laughs> Imagine all of them were. <laughs> I witnessed a T Rex. What the fuck, dude? They're fucking. Uh, have you been to to the museum? Uh, no, you told me about how much it cost because you were there. It was free for you. For my friend's a nurse. That makes no sense when you told me that on the phone. My friend's a nurse, so she got me in for free. She's a nurse, so she can go look at fucking dinosaur bones? She's a nurse, so she gets uh, access to museums for free. Doesn't make sense still. I don't, I don't think it makes sense either. <laughs> why, do they, why do they get for free? But it's 15 bucks regardless, right? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, and yes. then my, my girlfriend hit me with, uh, they have like a fucking year pass for 250 I'm like, hey, let's chill. 15 bucks is good for now. You First know what I mean? All, I don't think I have to go to that place. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, but they have a bunch around the nation. That's why. I don't fit well. So like the year pass is good for all these for, fucking oh, for the whole country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the whole country. Um, I mean that's cool. That's not my favorite. Mm. It's not my favorite. Was it was it cool though? It was cool, man. Seeing a T Rex. Yeah, because I talked shit about museums on the podcast before. That's why I want to go to the museum to fucking Have you been to put me in my museums? place. I've been to museums, dog. You know what's cool? The Museum of Death. What the fuck? Have you been to that one? No, no. Where, Where is, is it? In Dan? Los Angeles? It's in Hollywood. Oh. It's it's kind of weird because it's all about anything related to death. So it's a bunch of serial killers, fucking create uh, this mass suicides. Uh, they'll show like how they would kill people with the tools that we use. But it, there's so much information, so much detail. They have like a bunch, like they have a ritual of mirrors, like some of his letters and some of his clothing from jail. They have like the clown guy, like his tools he used, he would use to kill people. They have a bunch of shit. Oh my God. They have this whole section on uh, Charles Manson and all these like the people that followed him who did the killings, crime scene photos. Um, it's pretty overwhelming. 
Because it's literally, yeah. it's like actual pictures of people dead and- That's fucking wild. Yeah. And, but it's weird because sometimes it's almost like there's this room, um, there's a bunch of pictures everywhere, but there was this one that I saw. I think it was a girl that, that caught her man cheating, I think. So he killed her and like sliced him up and took pictures of him as he's like sliced up and shit. Yeah. So they have that like on the walls and everything. And sometimes it feels like they're kind of making death into like art or making it look like uh, like cool or some shit. Um, so it's definitely not, it, it, it could be for kids. It could be for kids, but it just had to kids be- Kids of the devil. It had to be very careful yeah. because a, someone brought their kid in there and some other girl was getting mad and shit. But the guy was like, yo, death is natural, baby. Yeah. Death is natural. Yeah. And people die, dude. You should go. The, I think you would like that museum. I know my girlfriend would. Dude, it's great. It's only like 15, 20 bucks too. Damn, fool. You got, you're my fucking price manager, dog. Do it. <laughs> I was going to go to the museum. You should change your last name to Expedia, homie. Damn. Joe Expedia Brandano. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go to the Museum of Tolerance today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah but it's close. Museum of Tolerance? You were going to come here and record today. No, in the morning. In the oh morning. In the morning. In the morning. What's with you in museums? I get it for free. <laughs> oh, because you're homie. Yeah. I'm homie. I've, I mean, I've been loving me trying to go to more museums, man. Yeah. Like more museums. Man. Do, is there, have you ever been to a museum for church or like religion? No. Because you're like, fuck that shit. That's not real. No. How not. about this? Do you still believe in the devil? No. No? I want to. I don't think the devil's real, dog. I don't think anything is real, unfortunately. Oh, everything, it's a fucking, that's not true. Everything's are real. Dog. I don't think anything is real. If I, I punch th- you in the balls right now, that's, that's real, real pain. Like, that's, that's real, real pain. That's real good. <laughs> real good. I like this. To walk I on like uh, I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the I don't believe in the devil. I believe that anything in the afterlife is all, whatever neutral is, are all good, you know? I don't know, man. I have to see something yeah. to believe it. Mm-hmm. And I want to see you know, even though I don't believe in it, I I wouldn't do that. Uh, the Ouija board shit. No, fuck Ouija boards, dude. Yeah, but I heard it's fake though. I heard that it's like your mind secretly moving it, and yeah. then you're like, oh my god, what's going on? But it's actually your mind moving your body. But I, what, maybe I'm crazy. But I also believe that if there is ghosts and shit or whatever fucking spirits that are moving the board and shit, those things may not be dead people. Maybe they're fucking living things on this earth. That have nothing to do with dead people, dog. But that th- they're just things ready to fuck you, homie. You know. But what if mean? you're a ghost, you think, and someone's playing Ouija board, you think you're just gonna be like this, moving the guy's fucking thing. But what if there's some sort of secret handshake you have to have with a person that's like quote unquote living from our perspective, <sighs> right? You have to have some sort of weird fucking handshake that makes no sense. No, man. If you were a fucking ghost for real, they would be fucking popping everywhere. They'd have their own community. They'd be fucking living regular. There's no secret code. Secret they probably do code. live regular and we don't know what that is. But we can't see them. They That's have to, what I'm saying. We can't guys. fucking see them. I want to see one. That's why I went <laughs> to those places to go see one, to see some shit, to feel some shit. And don't start felt, crying. Doug. I don't never felt crying. shit, man. I never <laughs> felt shit from Jehovah. <laughs> Only from Satan. <laughs> Only from Satan. He has a cool name though, Lucifer. That's pretty dope. I don't know about that. The Lucifer? show fucking sucks. Lucifer, the show sucks. Oh no, 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 no. I've never seen that. It's uh, it's like it's like oh yeah oh the, Satan has an English accent foo. So does Sherlock Holmes. You tell me Sherlock Holmes is related to Satan? You know what I mean? Yeah, I've never seen that show though. Yeah, fucking Miguel's a huge fan of that show. I gotta watch it. What's it on? I gotta stop saying fucking Miguel. I couldn't. I, when just I can't say think, Miguel, dude. <laughs> just oh say Miguel. Goodness. Miguel is a huge fan of that show. It's on fucking Peacock, whatever the shit, dude. A, is that a subscription streaming website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's on Netflix. Oh, Dog, yeah. watch the first episode and be like, it's fucking wild, dude. We'll, it doesn't make we'll sense. see. We'll see. Yeah. You know what's a good story though? What? You know. You know. Well, actually, I, I don't really know. Like the wait, my son in the shop. Yeah. Um, how Satan and Jehovah were like homies and shit. They were homies and then one went bad and shit. Well, Satan went bad. Satan owed Jehovah money. And, and he Jehovah sent him like, back to the fucking earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just took over the earth. So wait, so was Satan and Jehovah fucking homies in hell? And then he was, he was his, uh, his, like his, like uh, his go-to angel. And shit. He was his right hand man. And shit. You know what I mean? And if I remember correctly, I think, uh, uh, uh Satan, was getting jealous of the power, the control that Jehovah had. 
He was like, I want what the fuck he has, right? And I think he did something. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I remember. It was a long time oh, ago. Oh, uh, Jehovah is God. Yeah, he's God. Oh, that makes... I th- I'm thinking of Jehovah as another angel. And she, no, you know? no, man. Jehovah Je- is God. Jehovah is God. Jehovah is God. You got to get that. Um, Salmos allegedly. 30, Salmos 83, 68. Jehovah is God. Jehovah is God. <laughs> I'm like... Oh. And in nombre de- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's his name. Yeah, that's his name. That's his name. But or was I? He threw him, and he just took over the world. Is she? Um, yeah. But do you believe that? You don't believe that shit. That's what you were taught, right? Yeah. I don't know if I said it word for word. I forgot. There's probably some big parts that I, I forgot. But uh, I used to believe that. Damn. Fool. I used to believe that Satan was all around us. That what? Satan was uh, so- in birthday parties and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the birthday parties. It was like Imagine Christmas. that was the argument that Satan and Jehovah got in. Like, we're not celebrating birthdays, fool. And Satan's like, but it's dope. But it's, it's fun, fool. <laughs> it's fun. <Yeah. laughs> Satan's like, why? <laughs> why, fool? I'm 10 years old. I'm 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you a question. What are some of the most, like, I know I asked you a lot of questions today, maybe like six or seven, which is a lot for me. You know, I'm usually demanding things, not asking questions. So question, what's the most frequent asked questions about Jehovah? The birthday thing, it's obviously. The, it's, the, it's the holiday thing. Yeah. Like you guys don't, what do, you, do you guys like not celebrate birthday? Yeah. We don't celebrate anything. Like, no? And they're like, like, what about like Thanksgiving? No. What about like Halloween? No, Fourth so of July. Are, no, the, then they stop talking to you. Easter, after that. no. <laughs> Mother's Day, hell no. Father's Day, no. Anything, no. What about Jehovah Day? No, not even <laughs> that. Dude. No, nothing, nothing. That's the biggest one. Like you guys, I appreciate. But what are some other? What, what's the best question somebody's asked you about the Jehovah that made you really think and say why was it one of mine, Doug? <laughs> no, man, I don't really get that many questions. It's always like the fucking the hacky ones. Yeah. So I was like, you don't celebrate so wait, this. you don't fucking party. For you don't the celebrate fuck? this. You don't do that. Yeah. You don't do this. You don't do that. You don't fucking. Yeah, it's the same. Same one once. Like, no one gets creative. So when you when you walked at high school, did you walk? Did you graduate? <laughs> let's, let's skip this. Skip this. Part. Let's skip, let's skip this part. No, but did you walk? I could have. You got a GED or what? I got a diploma full. Oh, so but you didn't walk. Not from BP High. Not from my high school that I was at, because I, I got kicked out. Why'd you get kicked out? Because a lot of reasons. Because bad grades, and I was late all the time, because mm. I would have to make a 50-minute walk. Oh, my God. So I would just walk late. And then the teacher was like, you keep on coming late, I'm going to kick you out. And I was like, well, I'm going to be late, because <laughs> I was <went> far. <laughs> and then they kicked me out. And then- Don't look at your nails at that point. <laughs> and then they're like, we're going to kick you out. Your grades are so bad. We're going to put you into like a sixth, seventh, a seventh period where you can go on the computer and make up all the credits that you're missing. And I was like, listen, I'm not going to fucking disappoint you. Thank you so much for doing this for me. I'm going to be there every fucking day. And I never went. And then I never went and they gave me three months and I didn't do shit. And then fucking when they kicked me out, I was, like, I was crying. <laughs> I cried. I cried. So you didn't walk? Nah, no, no, no. I, I just got my diploma. But you graduated. I went from adult school. I went to adult school. Oh, my God. And then they're like, you're too young to be here. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I got nowhere else to go. And then they just gave me a book. And then they're just like, yo, when you're finished, just come back. So I just fucking, I just didn't do shit for like fucking five months. And then real quick in a week, I just did everything. And then I got my uh, diploma. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I wasn't a good I wasn't a good student. You still aren't, dude. I'm not a good student. <laughs> I wasn't a good student at home. It was fucking hard. Yeah. It was hard for me. Ugh. What about you? Um, I was a good student, and then I smoked weed my first summer after senior year. And then it all went downhill from there, baby. You're a big smoker. Fucking big smoker. Big <laughs> <laughs> but I was a good student. I think my grade point average was like 1.9. Just kidding. Uh, fucking, that was I was literally about to say, that's pretty good, dude. Because mine was fucking bad. Mine no, was mine was, uh, I want to say I had a 3.3. Damn. Yeah. And That's then fucking in great. in fucking college, dude, my shit was below one. I think. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I don't feel so bad. No, nah, my I was on I and I entered college on academic probation, foo. Why didn't you do? Uh, because when it came to the standardized standardized uh, standardized testing to for English and math placement, I didn't take those test seriously at all foo. i showed up stoned and i was just like let's draw fucking batman in the fucking scantron so and shit. Did, you draw, did you drop out 
uh, of college. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I dropped out of college after three years, and yeah. then two years later, I went back for one year. Shit. Yeah. And then you, after you dropped out again, what'd you do? I. Were you doing stand up? I went back to college, and when I dropped out that second time, I was doing stand up when I had gone back the second time. Yeah. Man, I don't know why college was so hard. I don't know why school was just so hard for me. I just did not give a fuck. Yeah, after me a too. Point. I think it was shit. I tried not to give a fuck in high school, but I was like, got to make it to college. I got to do good, you know? Yeah. Um, And I was a history major when I applied. But then when it came to actually going to school, I changed my major. That's the most work I did in college was change my major. Yeah. I changed my major <laughs> to theater. Oh, really? You're yeah, a theater yeah. boy? I was a theater boy too. And then when I went to the theater in college, I did all my theater classes. Like there was this whole thing when you go to college, you have a fucking counselor and you have like the meetings in the theater and stuff. And I went to all of those. Right. Yeah. And the, the first meeting I had with my counselor, I was like, I don't want to take English and math and stuff, you know? Yeah. And <laughs> like, Those are the most important class. I was that. also <laughs> in remedial English and math and I'm like kind of smart. I'm not remedial dog. Like what the fuck? You're smart. Yeah. yeah thank you. <laughs> I can spell alphabet. I can spell Let's buy that right now. A L P H A B E T. B E T. Yeah, yeah. So I'm smart. <laughs> well, you're <fucking laughs> smart, dude. Uh, and so when it came to go to college or like to go to college classes, I had two remedial classes, English and math. And I was like, this is fuck. I was so upset with myself where I was like, why didn't I just fucking do the test? Huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, it, I didn't pass those classes. It took me two years to pass out of remedial math and English. Yeah, and I did, but those don't count towards your GPA. This is what's fucked up about this, this scenario I was in. Remedial classes did not count towards your GPA. You just had to qualify to become part of regular English, regular math, right? And it's like they didn't go off of SAT scores. They went off their own standardized testing at the time. And then I was taking history classes. I love history, dog. Yeah. So I took like, I remember I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give myself, like, these classes are for the counselor. This class is for me. And I took Chinese history, right? And in Chinese history, I went to like three classes and never went back again. Oh, gosh, the fucking teacher sucked. I was like, yeah. fuck, <laughs> you know, Yeah. the teacher was, I don't know, just like read during class. I'm like, I want to be engaged and learn from you, dog. I had uh, was she old. She was old, old white lady, dude. Yeah. Old white lady, old teaching, white Chinese? lady teaching Chinese history, dude. God damn. And it was interesting. I was like, holy shit. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And then as I read, I'm like, what? Okay, fuck it. I'll read. <laughs> but yeah. like, I liked when you were telling us shit. Uh-huh. You know? She's just lazy, man. She was basically giving us an overview of what the, this class is going to be. This is, she's like, I fucking got spider webs. And, <laughs> and she's like making it all cool. Yeah. And then like the, the first day of class, of real class, yeah. she was like, all right, turn to those pages and read. And she's on her computer. She's oh, like, lazy bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's Jesus fucked God. up. <laughs> don't, you, don't, you, don't you love it when like a teacher makes extra effort? Yes. Because I had a teacher in third grade, uh, uh, Mrs. Johnson, right? And then... You know how, like, when you were younger, you had all your fucking classes, all your subjects in one day. But when it was time for the fucking uh, science section, she would be like, listen, class, I'm going to step out. I'm going to bring in Dr. Molecule. So she would step out and put her coat on and put her fucking whatever she has to put on. And then she would do the rest of class as Dr. Molecule. And then she would teach the class and be like, all right, see you guys tomorrow. And then she would fucking step out and come back as Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Joel was like, Mr. Molecule looks like Mrs. Johnson. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I appreciate, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, especially as I got older. Yeah. Yeah, because especially in college, there's some teachers that are just fucking like, yeah, like that don't give a fuck and make it harder on you. There was a teacher, Mr. Line, uh, and he was, I was in AP US history for um, high school. Yeah. I loved history, dude. And AP US history, Mr. Line, I finally found out what a liberal was. Mr. Line was very liberal. He taught us Howard Zinn. Like we didn't have regular textbooks. We just read Howard Zinn and uh, Richard, Mr. Line, Richard Line. I just said his whole name. Mm-hmm. Mr. Line would tell us about uh, what he his thoughts on things were or whatever. But there was also the standardized uh, teaching, right? So you have to teach these certain aspects of U.S. history. And he would do that. But he told us, he's like, I can't help how I look when I tell you these things. You know what I mean? Like Christopher Columbus discovered America. And he would be like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. And then he would be like, uh, you know, the World Trade Center just fell because. Uh, oh my God. You know, like he was like, because the, the airplanes <laughs> crashed into him, you know, and jet fuel melts steel beams. And he'd be like, <laughs> what about the JFK thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah JFK, yeah. JFK was shot by one bullet. 
<laughs> but it was so funny that the first day of class, he would told us like, I have to teach you these things, but I cannot control how my face is. You know what uh-huh. I mean? And that's he, so funny, that, man. That's who he would teach us. I wonder if I can, did you ever ask, well, how old were you? At the time I was in, it was junior year because world history was sophomore year. Yeah. Junior year was U.S. history. I had to have been 15, 16. Did they ever talk to you guys after, like outside of class about some conspiracy stuff? Um, I didn't really, I was, dude, Mr. Lyon got me into the conspiracy game, Doug. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because he just started bringing up shit to you? No, when he was saying these things, I was like scratching my head, like what the fuck? And then Howard Zinn, The People's History of the United States of America. Yeah. It's a great book. I don't know if you've ever heard it. Yeah. But like the first, I want to say five or six chapters is about what happened to the Native Americans in uh, America. And it's like gruesome and shit. And you never got, you never got taught that yeah. Thanksgiving turkey. You know what I mean? You're like, I never had it. <laughs> <laughs> You've had turkey, you fat fuck. I never had turkey <laughs> or Thanksgiving. Damn, turkey's bomb because that shit puts you to sleep, fool. Nah, I've had turkey once. Yeah, you fucking it was bitch. Fucking, it was fucking good though. It was, yeah. They stuffed it that shit with a bunch of shit. Yeah. Oh, God, with like potatoes and shit. Yeah. It's fucking good. Are I, you hungry or no? Yeah. I'm hungry. I'm fucking sorry. Let's fucking go eat, dude. Chipotle. <laughs> I'm fucking down Chipotle. for Chipotle. Dude. Chipotle with some chips. I'm gonna get some chips. Yeah, thanks for coming out though. Thank you, man. No, 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 stop it, fool. Thank you. Hopefully, hopefully I did good, man. I feel like I, I You did great. I feel like I did bad. No. It's Jehovah talking to you. I feel man. like I did really bad. No. Looking at your audience right here. I think I did bad. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Be nice to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you did great. Thank you for coming, dude. Thank you. Um, shout out Harito. He did terrible. Harito he didn't say did the whole good, time. man. He didn't even say it the whole time. It's okay, man. Look, he's he just doing what he's meant to be doing. Just standing oh, there, protecting you. Asking for a hug. Being cute. Yeah. You don't hug him back because you're a fucking dick, fool. I'm not. So you're a fucking bitch, fool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks. Shout out Joel. Fucking Brandano, Romero, whatever you want to be called, Doug. Thank you, guys. Hopefully I did a good. AKA Molecule Man, homie. Hopefully I did okay. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> All right. right guys. We'll see you guys next time. See Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>